higher you are. So in this video, you will learn how to implement guided tour in your web application using JavaScript. So this is generally required whenever you have a new user on a website and you want that user to get familiar with the functionality. For example, we have this page in front of us and there is a login button, logout button, header section, article section and the footer section. We just need to highlight them for the user so that he should be aware of them. Let me click on this start tour button. You can see the elements are getting highlighted. Click next. It will show this is the header section, this is the article section and this is the footer section. We are going to use this library driver.js. So let's get started and see what actually works. Let's get index file here. It will be index.html. We need a basic HTML structure and a link to the style sheet. Also, we need a script file at the bottom. Let's make it script.js. Let's create all those elements one by one. So first of all, we need a button. Text will be start tour. We'll give it a ID of tour. Create a div element. Give it a class of container. We need two buttons here. Let's make it login. And let's make it logout. Give it a ID of login. And give it a ID of logout. We need one more div element. Give it a class of container. ID will be header. And the text will be header. Just copy and paste it. This will be footer. And this will be footer too. Also, we need some content. So we'll use paragraph element here and have some dummy text. Give it a class of container and ID will be article. So just save it. Create a style sheet here. Select the first button by the ID tour. Display will be block. Margin will be zero and auto. Select the button element. Adding will be five pixel and twenty pixel. Select the container class. Text align will be center. Adding will be ten pixel and twenty pixel. Margin will be twenty pixel and zero pixel. Border will be one pixel solid black. Select the footer and header by the ID. Font weight will be bold. And font size will be around 25 pixels. Save it. Open this file in the browser. Great. So we are having the similar layout. Now let's work on the script file. But first of all, we need this driver.js file. Let's go to the website. Get started. And here you can see we have this CDN link. Just copy this. Paste it here. Also copy this. Paste it here. Now create a script file here, script.js. Now we need this piece of code uh, where it was. Let's go to the basic usage. This one. So just copy this piece of code, paste it here, and it should not be driver, it should be driver.js. So basically, first we need to initialize it. Now here you need to pass the CSS selector. For example, I'm going to pass login. Title will be login and the text will be this is a login button. Same goes for the other elements. So here it will be logout. Let's do it here also. Logout button, 
this will be for the header this will be for the footer let me just quickly copy and paste it and this will be article let's make it header this article this is a footer same goes here article and footer now select the tour button here at the bottom so it will be btn tour document dot query selector will select it by the id add a click event listener to it this will be the handler function now you need to call the drive method on this drive object just copy and paste it save it go to the browser now click on start tool you can see it is working exactly the same i hope you got the point what actually works see in the next video have a nice day